Bronchiectasis is a permanent dilation of the bronchi and bronchial smaller bronchi, secondary to the destruction of its cartilage and elastic tissue, is caused by recurrent airway infection and inflammation. Cystic fibrosis, a most common cause of bronchiectasis in the United States. Infections. Tuberculosis is the most common cause worldwide. Other conditions also can cause bronchoectasis, rheumatoid arthritis, bacterial pneumonia, mycobacterium infection, viral infection, malignancy, inflammatory bowel disease, impaired host defenses, genetic diseases. Signs and symptoms. Clinical findings include cough productive with thick sputum with frequent green or yellow sputum lasting months to years, hemoptysis, coughing up blood that is sometimes massive. Other common symptoms include difficulty breathing, wheezing, a whistling sound when you breathe, and chest pain, digital clubbing. People with bronchiectasis may have bad breath from active infection. Complications of bronchoectasis, respiratory failure and atelectasis. Respiratory failure occurs when not enough oxygen passes from the lungs into the blood. Atelectasis occur when one or more segments of the lungs collapse or do not inflate properly. Other pulmonary complications include lung abscess, pus in the lung, and empyema, in the lungs, created larger air spaces instead of many small ones. Pathogenesis. The development of bronchiectasis requires two factors, an infectious insult and impaired drainage, obstruction, or a defect in host defense. The vicious cycle theory is the generally accepted explanation for the pathogenesis of bronchiectasis. In this model, a predisposed individual develops an excessive inflammatory response to pulmonary infection or tissue injury. Diagnosis a chest X-ray is abnormal in most patients with bronchiectasis. Computed tomography is recommended to confirm the diagnosis. Tree and bud sign is a finding on a CT scan that indicates some degree of airway obstruction. The CT appearance of multiple areas of central obular nodules with a linear branching pattern. It usually represents the endobronchial spread of infection. Laboratory tests that are commonly part of the initial evaluation include a complete blood count. Sputum cultures for bacteria, mycobacteria, and fungi, testing for cystic fibrosis, and immunoglobulin levels. Treatment. Management includes to identify causative factor and treat it if possible. Airway clearance therapy is to loosen secretions and interrupt the cycle of inflammation and infection. Anti-inflammatory drugs, antibiotics to eradicate bacterial infection, inhaled bronchodilators. Surgery. Aim is to localize disease to remove segments of the lung or to control massive hemoptysis. The disease is more common in women and increases as people age. It affects less than 0, 1% of population.